got some bees or have bees you need to take care of, you've never really done an inspection, kind of got to show you what to do, what to look for. This was a, uh, a five frame nuke that was put into this eight frame box. And here I have a resource frame. This is basically their outside frame. I'm looking for the queen first. She's not here. I'm checking this very back frame for eggs. I see nothing. Just polished cells. And here, this is a resource frame you can see. Excuse me. Capped honey here. Nectar being turned into honey. And bee bread sitting right there. That's a mixer of pollen and uh, enzymes and nectar that uh, the babies eat, the, the little larvae eat that. So that's looking good on there. This hive has had a low population, but it looks like they're doing better. They were only installed maybe two months ago. Towards the end of a, of a nice flow that we there had. There she is. There's the queen. So that's a very good sight. She looks healthy. And then you can see in these cells, all these cells right here have eggs in them. Can you zoom on the eggs? She is. And you can see there's pollen around the outside of the, or outside of the, uh, where the brood area is. It's, again, some nectar and some honey. Uh, right along the edges. This is the next frame. Um, here you can see at all the open holes. You can see where there's cap brood. Obviously, there's a cap brood, but everything that isn't capped here, you can see, has either an egg, or if you look in here, you can see little tiny larvae from a few days ago. So this queen is doing very good laying, very good pattern. It's just a spotty way that they hatched. But both sides is the same thing. Every cell that's available has either an egg in it or a larva or it's capped. Okay, so this is hive number two. I'm gonna show you the difference between this one and this one population wise. Both of them were started at the same time. Actually, all six of these in this field were. But uh, you can see the difference in population between that one and this one. Ooh, there's a big old spider. Hey, it's a bee. You see that? Look at that. That spider just ate a bee. Master. Zoom in on this. There's a very good example of a frame of eggs, well, partial frame of eggs. This is one of the out, outside-ish frames, and she's laid it up pretty good. This started out as just black foundation. You can see where they built up the wax on it. And the other side's full of the same, with a whole layer of kept. There's a queen of hive number three. You watch, you may see her lay an egg. Although she's on a frame of honey, which is weird. But she has laid in whatever cells are available in this frame. You can see right over here, there's eggs. Next to the pollen, or bee bread. And then the entire top is capped with honey. This is one of the closer to the outside frames of this hive. So this hive is in need of a top box soon. And there's the queen doing her queen thing. Okay, here's a good example of a, of a brood, brood frame, excuse me. You see, this is all cap brood. She's done very good capping it, or uh, laying it. There's very few gaps. On the outside, you'll see some honey. And then on the outside up here, this is all bee bread that they will feed, or that they, they have fed these guys. And then if you see on here, move these ladies out of the way. You'll see larva in various stages of development there. You can get that in there. Okay, this 
It's a drone bee. You see the difference? He has big fat eyes. Much bigger than the other bees. That's a male bee. That's a drone taking off if you can hear it. There's another big fat drone. Look at him. He's huge. Could you just moved it into my finger. This one's got a little bit better population than the first time. But it's still lacking from the other two. I don't know what those are going to be like. But you can see this is all brood. Gaps. She's laying, she's not laying great, but she's laying okay. Frames aren't the best either. So to recap, things to look for. Fresh eggs and larva means your queen is laying. Capped and uncapped brood means they're developing. A good solid laying pattern means she's laying well. Having them work the new foundation. Pollen and bee bread so they have enough stores. And the queen. Or standing eggs because they're 24 hours old. And that leaves you the indication that the queen is there. Thanks for watching. Please give me a like if you enjoyed this or if you found this useful. And subscribe to get uh, notifications for new videos. Thank you.